back at it again and we've got one here from the daily caller make sure you guys go and subscribe to their youtube channel original link will be down below but we have an instant karma video but it's a feminist edition <laughs> so i'm sure this is going to be absolutely hilarious so uh grab a snack and a drink of your choice kick back and relax and um get ready to laugh because i'm i'm pretty sure there's gonna be some good laughs in here but anyway appreciate all of the continued love and support thank you guys so so much make sure you guys hit that like button greatly helps out with the youtube algorithm all right anyway let's start it man maybe you can prove me wrong but i don't think that you're a friend to woman how what it I knew I shouldn't have picked her. If you become president, will a woman make the- He said, I knew I shouldn't have picked her. Same as a man, and do I get to choose what I do with my body? You're gonna make the same if you do as good a job. Tracy, I can't There's believe- Facts. <laughs> I generally agree with that statement. I mean, if you, if you can do the same job as a man, yeah, get paid the exact same. There should be no difference. And as a matter of fact, uh, we, we checked out a Thomas Sowell video where that has there has been some overcompensation uh, when it comes to women in the same career field with the same amount of experience, with the same degree, with the, you know what I mean, with the same with the same job occupation. They are paid on average more than the man. I can't remember which Thomas Sowell video that was that we were checking. I'm pretty sure it was a Thomas Sowell video. If you guys remember, comment it down below. But yeah, if you can do the same job, absolutely. Absolutely. 100% agree with that. You're going to make the same if you do as good a job. Tracy, I can't There's believe There's a reason that women live say. longer, Mark. Let me tell you. It is because we are stronger yes. and we are happier at the end of the day than most men. Stronger? Men. And that no. is factual and you know it. When, when men are married to women who scream like you, they just want to die sooner. You've let me, let me, let me, let me just stop you so you don't waste a line of questioning. I'm just giving you... <laughs> I love the, the mansplaining. I'm enjoying it. Imagine the reaction, Senator, if I said you were woman-splaining. You're saying that I'm mansplaining. Well, it is a term that's used. Is it when, by whom? Well, by it rude, is a term that's used. By rude... Doesn't, doesn't make By rude senators. Uh, by senators no. who are seeking to make gender an issue. Put stop being a hypocrite. Well, Conduct yourself it. appropriately for this... Well, Put her on the spot, because if he would have said the same thing, it would have been like WW3. Okay, but you're still saying these kids should like, not be accepted because they don't really fit in either place? They can't just like... I'm saying that the Boy Scouts have a standard. You must be a biological boy to be a Boy Scout. You have to be a boy to be a Boy Scout. That written, in the name Boy Scouts. <laughs> Men, you cannot... <laughs> Got him. We checked out that video a while back. Not trust them. They're going to be obsolete in a few years. Yeah, yeah, I heard We're it. making synthetic sperm, so we don't even need you anymore. <laughs> you might not, but there's a couple up there. <laughs> I think they're going to fight you on this. Make a case for men. We're awesome. <laughs> the toxic masculine. Did she say synthetic sperm? Huh? So you're making synthetic babies? I'm very confused by that statement. Can anybody explain? Ladies, explain if y'all know this synthetic sperm that she speaks of. Please let me know, ladies. Uh, I, I, got, I got some questions. <laughs> some serious questions. Masculinity's already there. It's already... <laughs> the toxic masculinity's already there. It's already there. Does making... Does eating meat make toxic masculinity worse? It's one of the ways in which it can reinforce existing kind of social structures, including patriarchy. Is this bad that I'm eating meat? If you go hunting, that's a totally different story, right? The blood's on your hands. Right now, you're kind of just enjoying the benefit and the blood's on someone else's hands. And that's not very fair. What if they want to hunt meat or what if they want to raise cattle? Oh, totally. But the idea of killing and taking a life... Um, that we should really deeply consider what that means for us as human beings. That is not what a fetus looks like, okay? It's a clump of cells at 12 weeks. And, and those people that do so, willingly do so. They went to seek a job to do so and get paid to do so. I mean, if, if, if I'm sure if we all had to do it, we would do it. Do I want to do it? 
No. I'll be completely honest. You know what I mean? Hey, hey, there's, there's no shame in my game. Do I want to have to take an animal's life? Personally? Me personally? No. Do I know every time I eat a slab of meat? You know what I mean? Pause. Um, that, that came from an animal that somebody had to take an animal's life? Yeah, I understand that. I'm not dumb. You know? Um, but I think, like I said, even with that being said, if I had to, I would. She made it seem like we wouldn't do it. <laughs> B.S. <laughs> That's a nice cow over there. It's going to look good on my plate <laughs> when I'm done slicing him up. You know? I'm just saying. I'm just saying. It it, it will get done. Like we in Columbus, it baby. It does not look okay. It's a clump of cells at 12 weeks. Oh, it's human beings. That is not what a fetus looks like, okay? It's a clump of cells at 12 weeks. Like, it does not look like that. It's a clump of mother cells. No hands are shown through that time. You're just a white privileged racist male that doesn't stand for women's rights. And get that camera out of my face, either. Wait. Uh, I want to call the police. You. We are calling the police, ma'am. You are a white male privilege. I'm calling the police right now. What you are is a racist mother as well. No uterus, no right to talk about it. <laughs> well, ladies and gentlemen, she does not look to be an elder, so let me say this. This ain't, ain't nobody playing with this woman's uterus. <laughs> I'm calling the police right now. What you are is a racist mother as well. No uterus, no right to talk about it. Understand me, mother Go ahead, take over. Oh, and she got arrested. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. She got arrested too. Mm-hmm. You love to see it. You love to see it. Because you 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 can't act like that, right? You, you absolutely cannot act like that. And of course, if I would have made those jokes in her face, oh my god, how dare you say something like that? And yet she's over here, you know, hitting, kicking, breaking things, yelling and screaming. Man, if I would have said the jokes that I wanted to say, <laughs> it would have been the end of the world, though. The hypocrisy of these folks and uh <laughs> Wow. Uh, <laughs> Sheesh Louise, man. And, and once again, it comes from the people that claim to be the most tolerant and loving and accepting of all people and others. You know, I, I just I just don't get it. I don't understand. Just the biggest hypocrites on this planet. Absolutely biggest hypocrites on this planet. It's it's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But anyway. Obviously, that last lady got arrested. The first chick with Trump um, got a got a truth bomb dropped on her head. <laughs> you know what I mean? And everybody else, um, uh, uh, the the uh, the vegan lady, <laughs> I forgot what what's that guy's name on um, Fox? Uh, the guy that was eating the meat in front. Oh, <laughs> uh, what's what's this guy's name? I've seen him before. I, Waters. Uh, I, 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 I don't know his first name, though. There's there's his last name, of course, but that was a savage moment while she's advocating for not taking the life of animals. He's just munching on a, a whole plate of meat right in front of her. <laughs> that is absolutely savage. And listen, maybe maybe that is the answer to stopping all of this madness. Right. Because you see time and time again where the left gets violent with things. Maybe it's time the right stands up. And I don't mean like actually um, promoting any type of any type of hateful behavior, but doing stuff like this. In videos that, you know, I've seen uh, the right is more likely to kind of. Um, walk away from the situation i guess you just you, you could say maybe the right needs to start doing more stuff like this what do y'all think not necessarily be violent or anything but just let the left know hey <laughs> don't mess around with me okay um or 
what I kind of, um, what video was that? I think it was the Fleckers video. Uh, what I kind of did sarcastically was act offended too. You know, when, when, you know, the left is always acting offended about something, maybe the right needs to start acting offended. Yelling and screaming. Oh my God, how dare you? you oh, I, I know what it was. The, uh, a guy in uh, the Fleckus Talks video said something. It was a white guy who said something negative about Candace Owens. You know, a black woman. So it's like, how dare you say something about an oppressed black woman? I'm so offended or something. I, I, I don't know if I said I'm so offended, but maybe the right needs to start doing that. Anybody ever says something, any white person ever says from the left ever says something negative to me. I'm black. Are you, are you the R word? <laughs> I'm actually going to do that. I'm actually going to do that. If I ever get into a debate with, you know, someone on the left and they call me any type of name, right? I'm pulling the race card. I'm pulling the race card. <laughs> I'm pulling the race card and I am going to be the most dramatic person ever in that moment. I, I am going to, <laughs> I'm going to be so dramatic. Oh man. I, th I, I think, oh yeah, I think that's going to be good. I think that'll be really good. Hopefully I'll get it on camera if and when it does happen. <laughs> But obviously, you, you can't really plan for those types of situations. So they, they just kind of happen. You know what I mean? So it, it's definitely going to be hard to get that on camera. But if it happens, I am going to do my best to record it. All right. Anyway, <laughs> do y'all think it will work, by the way? Let me know in the comment section. I think it would. I think it would. If, if I act offended enough, if I was, if I was dramatic enough about it, I, I think it actually would work. But anyway, y'all let me know what you thought about this one in the comment section below. Like, share, comment, and of course, hit that subscribe button before you go. Peace and love. I'm out.